In this video we're going to talk about materials in V-Ray for Rhino and we're going to start with the basic parameters and this will be the diffuse, the reflection and the refraction channels. So we're going to start with creating a really simple scene here and also by inserting some objects that you can find on the web. I'm going to show you where. So you can see I have created a really simple scene. Let's start from this. So I have placed a simple box here for the background and I want to create a mirror with this. Now the mirror effect it's another effect that you can get with the reflections. Now about Rhino I changed the viewport here a little bit because I wanted to have a nice look of my camera so you can go in the properties of the view here to adjust the camera and in this case I've chosen this lens length which is 30 millimeters but you can also change this and make it as you like okay so this is kind of the standard lens that you usually use and I also created here a box and use a fillet to have some nice round corners just to create a simple seat and also I have a base for the scene and in this case you can get that by going into the render settings of Rhino and going down here and activate the ground plane so you're gonna have also a place where objects are gonna be placed on. Now a good news for you is that uh, materials in Rhino can also be used in V-Ray. So if you use something you can either leave the Rhino material or you can convert it in V-Ray. Now I think that it's better to convert everything in V-Ray because since we are using V-Ray as a render engine it's probably better to use V-Ray materials, V-Ray lights and then finally V-Ray settings. Now we talked about lights in the previous videos we are not going to talk about them in this video but probably later on with in other lessons we are going to uh, do something else with lights but here you can see I've just created our simple setup I've placed two area lights on both sides and one on the top so it's kind of again the three-point lighting system that we study previously and then also I placed some spherical lights around this one here it's uh, it's just to show you how you can see the lights into the reflections of objects and I've also placed a couple of more inside a lamp here to show you the like a bulb so if you saw the previous video you won't have any problems to do the same setup here and also another thing that I've changed it's here in the V-Ray Asset Editor in the settings panel in the background I've decreased the intensity here of the default texture that you usually find when you first launch Rhino which is this Rhino default EXR and it's kind of a HDR eye image and it's used here for the environment and we're gonna keep that because it's gonna give you a little bit of reflections on your reflective objects otherwise if you leave a blank space or a black space around it's gonna give you all the reflections black which is not really nice let me show you here for example in this part of the scene if I launch a render you're gonna see here that you have kind of a studio lighting around it's kind of a gray effect but if I turn this off everything's gonna be really dark and black because all around is black so a mirror or a reflective object is going to reflect what's surrounding the scene so make sure that you that your scene has some surroundings or as an HDRI image now this is also a nice effect but and we also have some reflections here but this is due to the lights that I've placed around you can see all the specular effect of the lights placed around but I want to keep that also maybe just lowering down the effect a little bit and also I can do that by going into the texture here and trying to 
decrease here the intensity. Okay, so I've done some adjustments here and we're ready to go. Now let's see where we can get the objects first and then we will proceed with the materials. So the website where I got this model from, it's called 3D Model CC0. So they are completely free to use. And here you will find all the info that you need. So these are public domain and you can support this website. And I have downloaded this, this model here. It's um, virtual reality goggles and banker's lamp and also the desk here, desk number two. Okay, so you just click here to download. You're going to find the downloaded files in the download folder and there you can just extract that and then drag and drop and insert it here into the, the, the scene. So it's an FBX, basically. Let me show you just one as an example, which is the desk. And you can see here you also have textures. Now we're going to talk about textures later, but essentially they represent a different channel. Now this one here, the base color, it's supposed to be the diffuse channel. So let's drag and drop, say insert, say OK. Well, I've already uh, inserted this, so I'm going to create a new block, otherwise it's, it's going to overwrite the existing one, and then I can place it here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to place it. All right. Now, another thing, when you import models, it's probably going to ask you to find the textures, which is missing. So if you don't find the texture, it's going to apply like a default material. Now, if you want to find the texture, you can go here, replace and you need to navigate to your folder where the texture is stored and then you say OK, open it. And there you go. Now let's go in the V-Ray Asset Editor and you can see already I have some materials here. Now when I don't need materials, I can click on this Purge Unused Assets. So it's gonna clean up and it's gonna take off everything that is not into the scene. This is a useful tool here. And if I want to get a material which is already existing in, in Rhino and I want to transform that in V-Ray, I can use this other tool here. So if I click with the left mouse, I'm going to edit the V-Ray material. So for example, if I have this object and click with the left mouse, it's going to bring me here to the material which has been applied to this. But if I select this, which is not a V-Ray material yet, I can right click and this is going to create a new material inside the 